Hi guys, welcome to another massive tutorial brought to you by Direct Tutoring. Today we're going to have a look at some arcs of a circle. So just a quick overview. Um, an arc of a circle can be classed as major or minor. Now, a minor arc is the smaller portion um, of the circle compared to the major arc, which would be this section here. Now, the arc itself deals only with the circumference. So, the way that you would class the major and minor arc is dependent on the angle that is made here. Because obviously, the whole circle would be 360 degrees. However, the minor arc would have to be less than 180 because 180 degrees would be completely half. So anything less than 180 degrees is classed as the minor arc, and then the other part of the circle would be classed as the major arc. And arcs only concern ourselves with the circumference. It does not take into account the area or the volume. We have subsequent videos, which I'll put a link in the description, on how to solve for the sector area. And when dealing with the arcs, generally you will be asked to find length. And there's two formulas that you use. So the first one is the length formula, and the second is the circumference of a circle formula, which is mostly used um, within the problem solving questions. So the two formulas that you have are the arc length, which is theta over 360 times pi times d. Now theta is the arc angle, and d is the diameter of the circle. And the circumference is just pi d, so that does not take into account the angle um, of the major or minor arc. That just takes into consideration the entire circle. So the thing that determines the arc length, essentially, is the value of theta. So if we put this into practice, then question number one asks us, find the length of the major arc. A, B. Now, from the checklist that we mentioned earlier, the major arc is the any angle over 180 degrees. So, here, from this point here, all the way around, is 240 degrees. So, that's as now identified the major arc, because in here is only 120 degrees. So, this would be the minor arc here, so this is our major arc round here. And then we need to determine what formula we have to use. And in this case, we are given a specific angle. So we have to use the arc length formula. Now, once you've identified the formula, then the easiest thing to do is just write out the information that you are given. So the angle theta is 240 degrees. And the diameter is 60, because we're told that the radius from the centre to the outside is 30 centimetres. So the diameter would be 60. Once we know this, all we have to do is pop these numbers into this equation and then simplify. So the 240 over 360 becomes 2 over 3 pi 60. And then if you put that into the calculator, your arc length here is 126 centimetres. So that means from this point, if we go all the way around to here, is 126 centimetres. And just for practice, what you could do is you could work out the full circumference of the circle. And then you could find the arc length that corresponds to 120 degrees. Add the two values between that one and the 120, and if it gives you the same value as the circumference, you know you have done it right. But in this question, it only asks for the major arc length. So question two is a bit of a problem-solving question. It gives us a pendulum. This is a pendulum here. And it makes an angle of 65 degrees. So as it swings backwards and forwards, 
it makes an angle of 65 degrees. And the length of the arc is 28.4 centimetres. So it's telling us that this arc here is 28.4 centimetres. And it's asking us to calculate the length of the pendulum. So we're, this time we're asked for this length here. Whereas in the previous question, we were told what the radius was. So essentially this time we have to find the radius. So we need to work out what we've been given. So in this case, we've been given the arc length, we've been given the angle, but the thing we don't have in this case is D. So when we use the equation, the arc length equation, we can substitute in the arc length and the angle and the only unknown variable is d. So it would look something like this. Now we can simplify and change the subject of the formula and we can get a value of d to be 28.4 over 0 0.56 which simplifies to 50.7 and we'll just round that to 51 centimeters. Now that is the diameter. From a to o is the radius so what we have to do is divide the diameter by 2 and that tells us that the length of the pendulum here is 25.5 centimeters long and that's how you would go about solving that kind of problem there thanks for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel leave any comments in the comment section below and we'll see you in the next video